This is Chase Curtis and the Snow Bandit Tow Bandit sponsored ride to his outside. The Seacoast Truck and Auto sponsored car number 33 for Bobby Bellargent. Third on the grid, car number 33, the other Tow Bandit Snow Bandit sponsored ride. That is Jarrett Curtis. Then it's the Scaff Refrigeration BCR Auto sponsored car number 66C, East Kingston, New Hampshire's Bobby Cabral. Cam Curtis grids next in car number 19. Then it's the 12 of Dan Sweeney. Jimmy Connor in the Postal Off Brewing car number zero. Then it is the 55 of Randy Cole. Justin Storis is in the LW Auto 47, making his return to racing action, gridding next in car number 02NH. Welcome back, Jeff Rollins. Jason Gammons in the 25. And out back, making his first start of the year, all the way from Rhode Island, the 47 is Perch. That is your lineup, 40 laps of distance. The Kennedy Construction at type late up here tonight from the Star Speedway. Into the Bumpies Auto Service Restart Zone. Green flag in the air. Kind of the construction act type late models are underway. Belargin, Chase Curtis, even down the back straightaway, side by side. Belargin inching in front on the outside groove. Bobby Belargin in the 33 up high. Chase Curtis down low. Who's going to lead lap number one? It is Bobby Belargin on the outside groove. Chase Curtis fights back on the bottom side. Jarrett Curtis runs third, then it's Bobby Cabral in the battle for the fifth spot between Cam Curtis and the 19 and the 12 of Sweeney, but they are still wheel to wheel for the race lead. This time it's gonna be real close. It's Chase Curtis on the bottom by a bumper. Top two, wheel to wheel, good hard race and up front in tonight's Kennedy Construction Act type late model 40 lap main event. Bobby Belarjan not going away on the outside groove, takes the lead back on the outside at the line in car number 33. Curtis now inching back to the lead in car number 88. Belargin fighting hard from the outside group, but I don't know how long he wants to stay out there. Not the fastest way around the Star Speedway, but we'll see how long he can last up high in car number 33. Battle for the sixth spot. Jimmy Connor down underneath the 12 of Dan Sweeney for the sixth spot on the racetrack right now. Still side by side for the race lead, and it's Belargin back to the lead in car number 33. Bobby Belargin in car number 33 on the outside of Chase Curtis, trying to clear him now down through turns three and four. Curtis trying to fend him off, but Belargin has sole possession of the lead now down into turns one and two. Bobby Belargin able to clear Curtis down the back straightaway. He has the top spot. Chase Curtis settles into the second spot. Jarrett Curtis is third, Bobby Cabral fourth, and fifth is Cam Curtis in car number 19. Six now belongs to the zero of Jimmy Connor as they head down through turns one and two. Oh, Belargin with a bobble. That allows Chase Curtis back to the bottom side for the race lead. Ken is a construction act type late model 40 lap main event. And the top two are putting on a show and Chase Curtis takes the lead back now down through turns one and two. Bobby Belargin starting to push up the racetrack just a little bit in car number 33. He settles on the bottom side now in spot number two. Further back in the back, Jason Gammon in the 25, trying to pick off some spots in car 25 and head to back towards the front of the field in his second appearance with us here at the Star Speedway. Chase Curtis leads the way. Bobby Belargin in the second spot. Third is Jared Curtis, fourth Bobby Cabral, and fifth belongs to Cam Curtis in car number 19. Belargin looked like he was going to start to run away and hide, but he made a couple bobbles, and that allowed Chase Curtis back underneath him. Jarrett Curtis running that third spot. Cabral trying to find a way by him. Keep an eye on Jimmy Connor. He's on the move in car number zero. He's caught the tail end of fifth place runner Cam Curtis now as they head down the back straightaway. Jimmy Connor now looking for a way by the 19 of Cam Curtis. Cam Curtis moves up the racetrack a little bit. Jimmy Connor trying to fill the hole, unable to do so as they head down the back chute. Jeff Rollins at the back of the pack in car number 02 NH. Looks like he might be limping that car down pit road. Tough break in the return to racing action for the 02 NH of Jeff Rollins. He heads down pit road on lap number 14. 15 laps in the record books this time by for Chase Curtis in car number 88. 15 down at the line. Best race right now is for the fifth position on the racetrack between Cam Curtis and the 19 and the zero of Jimmy Connor as they head down the back straightaway. 
Randy Cole and Justin Storis, some of the top pointsmen having trouble here tonight, way at the back of the pack, battling for position. Cole takes it away from the 47 of Storis. Bobby Cabral now starting to reel in. Jared Curtis once again for that third and final podium position on the racetrack. Jason Gammon down underneath Dan Sweeney. He'll take the sixth, seventh spot away as they head down the back shooting car number 25. Jimmy Connor going to work, trying to find a way by the 19 of Cam Curtis. Sparks flying out of the back of the zero car, but connor has got a nose underneath Cam Curtis now down the back straightaway. Cam Curtis tries slamming the door shut, but Jimmy Connor is there now in car number zero, side by side for the fifth spot on the racetrack. Jimmy Connor down underneath Cam Curtis. He'll take the fifth spot away as they head down the back straight. This time by halfway home, 20 down, 20 to go for the 88 of Chase Curtis. Bobby Bellarge and all alone in the second spot. Then it's Jarrett Curtis in the 66C of Bobby Cabral. Ron LaPerch. First to go a lap down in car number 47, dead ahead of your leaders as they head down the back straight away. He's gonna get the passing flag from chief starter Dave Tibbetts as they head down through turns three and four. LaPerch down the racetrack, up the racetrack, and the leaders didn't wait for that 47 car to pick a lane. They get by him. Got a little hairy there for a second, but LaPerch able to get out of the way of your top two. Now third place, Jarrett Curtis gonna have to find a way by the 47. Looks like he's elected the outside groove to let your lead cars pass through. Bobby Bellarge and once again starting to reel in your leader Chase Curtis for the top spot. Jimmy Connor has caught the 66 C of Bobby Cabral. Fastest car on the track right now. It's got to be the zero of Jimmy Connor. He is on the move. Looking for the fourth spot away from Cabral down the back straight away. Up front. Fifteen laps remain for Chase Curtis in car number 88. Fifteen to go for the 88 of Chase Curtis. The battle right now is for the third and final podium spot between Jarrett Curtis, Bobby Cabral, and the zero of Jimmy Connor all going at it as Cam Curtis tries to join the party in car number 19 down the back shoot. Bobby Bellargen with a big bobble that time through turns three and four. He has to go back to work now. Jarrett Curtis trying to fend off the advances of Cabral and the zero of Connor here. As we have 12 laps remaining at the line for Chase Curtis in car number 88. This time by 10 fingers in the air from Chief Starter Dave Tibbetts. 10 laps to go and it is all Chase Curtis up front. 10 to go at the line. Jimmy Connor looking for the bottom side on Bobby Cabral. Contact made between Connor Cabral and the 19 of Cam Curtis. Everybody jockeying for the fourth position right now. That's allowing Jarrett Curtis to put some distance between himself and the 66 C of Cabral down the back straight away. Chase Curtis is dominating this one now in car number 88. Bobby Bellarjan stuck with him for a little while, but he's fading back just a little bit now in car number 33. Best race right now is for the third and final podium spot. Jimmy Connor getting a little agitated with the 66 C of Bobby Cabral trying to get the fourth spot away. Cam Curtis right there in the 19 as well. Six to go at the line for the 88 of Chase Curtis. Best race right now is for the fourth spot as Connor gonna get the warning flag from Chief Starter Dave Tibbetts using the front bumper a little too heavily and Cabral bobbled that time. That allows Connor. And Cabral able to fend him off. Jimmy Connor once again trying to get the bottom side from Bobby Cabral down the back straightaway. Sends it in a ton that time. 
Good run that time by Connor, and he'll take the fourth spot away down the front straightaway. Jimmy Connor gets by Cabral up to the fourth. We can reel. Jared Curtis now for the third spot. His laps start to tick away with three remaining at the line that time by your leader is in lap traffic. The 88 of Chase Curtis getting by LaPerch, and then he's got Dan Sweeney in the 12 car. Sweeney and the 12 team been struggling here in the second half of 2023. Two to go at the line for the 88 of Chase Curtis. Jimmy Connor has caught the back bumper of Jarrett Curtis now for the third and final podium spot. Dan Sweeney trying to stay on the lead lap. White flag in the air this time by. White flag is out for the 88 of Chase Curtis as they head down into turns one and two. Jimmy Connor looking for the bottom side on the 33 of Jarrett Curtis. Down the back. Final time, clean and green, all 40 laps, checkered flag in the air. Your Kennedy Construction, Act-Type late model winner, Chase Curtis, second to Belargin. Third at the line is going to be Jarrett Curtis in the 33, fourth to Jimmy Connor, and fifth to Bobby Cabral. Head tracks up.